is the most bizarre thing ever. <laughs> what, what, why did your exhaust fall off suddenly? Do you hear this? Out what happened. Can you believe this? Somebody stole my catalytic converter. Unbelievable. Street parking. Yeah. Yeah, I was parked right there. How about that? I called LAPD and they said, you know what, this happens so much, we just can't keep up with it. Fill out a form online, get your police report number, and that's all we can do. And then I started going down the research rabbit hole for catalytic converter theft. Turns out the Prius is the most commonly stolen one. And why is that? Police departments and auto repair shops across the Bay Area are seeing a spike in thefts of a pricey piece of a price. More metals, more money. I just had my second welcome to LA moment. So after limping it home into the parking garage and getting some unsavory looks from the neighborhood, boy, people did not expect this car to sound like that. I went to O'Reilly Auto Parts and bought some pipe. Let's just get her back on the road. That way I can, you know, drive her over to the uh, repair station and get that catalytic converter replaced. And of course, when you buy catalytic converters in 49 states, they're really cheap. California, with their air regulation board, you can't, you can't just do it yourself. You can't buy one used, even though I used one for the Prius is $900. And you can't do the work yourself. You have to be, uh, you have to document the entire procedure, why you need it, why, uh, you know, whether it was stolen or it's failed, and then uh, have one that has an executive action number stamped on it. That's the way I understand the law. It's not easy. So where uh, this would cost me $300 in any other state in the remaining 49 states, possibly not New York, uh, I've got to stick with the carb regulated one, which means this car's got to go to the dealership and get a $1,500 repair. Or I go out of state and I re register the car somewhere else. We'll see. Emissions are up in June. So until then, she's legal, but. Um... All of that being said, I feel like I should include a legal disclaimer. This is not going to pass California state law for a roadworthy vehicle in terms of emissions. That being said, it's just a stopgap right now getting these pipes on until I do find a cat. Okay, folks, Whew. five trips to the store, O'Reilly Auto Parts and AutoZone. The AutoZone next to me does not carry anything less than like one and seven eighths inches. So I had to go down to the one and a half inches that is actually this pipe, but I sleeved it with a one and seven eighths. Uh, so this is an 18 inch section of straight pipe. And then the flex pipe here, and then that goes all the way up to the two and a half inches that leads out from the cat and the flange. That flange is actually quite flexible with the donut. So it's nice to see that it can move around and still maintain a seal. Here's my oxygen sensor. And just a reminder for the good folks at home, this is not, this is not a street legal solution. This is what I need so that I can actually drive it on the road from my house to a repair shop hopefully a dealership, and that I can get this catalytic converter replaced. And this way I'm not throwing out a bunch of noise in the neighborhood. So, there she is. And the next thing I hope to do on this car is figure out how to disable the honking on the alarm every time I unlock the doors, which is not this horn here. I thought it might have been that horn, but it's actually the front horn only. Can't quite figure that out. So we'll start it, we'll see if there are any exhaust leaks, just check for it by hand. And then hopefully move on with my life, get this thing repaired, and then put an anti-theft device so it does not happen again. And hit the gas. Okay, there she goes. Yeah, sounds like there's a leak already.
Okay, correct size clamp is on. Let's give this a go again. Car is on. We're in park. Hit that gas. Much better. So I buttoned everything up, took the car down to the garage where I'll get to do a little bit of work, and thankfully I have a spare vehicle I can use to get around in the meantime. I did find a brand new 49 state legal catalytic converter, which means this Prius now has to become a non-California registered car or go through the proper channels to get registered in California with a replacement cat. But all the work was pretty straightforward. Clamps are in place until I can drive her to a muffler shop to get that welded in, but the catalytic converter has been replaced. So to recap everything, California has the strictest laws on catalytic converters in terms of doing any repairs or replacement, and that's fine. Um, unfortunately, I would have had everything covered through insurance because I keep full coverage on all my vehicles, but for this vehicle, I decided, oh, it's $10 a month cheaper not to have full coverage, so let me just save a little bit of money since it's a junk car. I had no idea that this part was at risk of being stolen, so I learned a very important lesson that day. Thanks for watching, and if this has happened to you, know your pain, and I had a lot of people reach out on Instagram when I was sharing my stories in real time, how their cats were stolen, whether it was a Honda Element or a Toyota 4Runner or the Highlander Hybrid, and it's not fun at all. I I feel your pain, and you're not alone. So in the next episode, I'm going to install an anti-theft device. While it doesn't make the catalytic converter theft-proof, it definitely adds to the inconvenience and comes with its own warranty. So next time this does happen, and if I am without full coverage insurance, which I have thankfully switched back, I will be able to cover my loss. The 2005 Prius, they use a very expensive catalytic converter. If you get your catalytic converter stolen, plus the labor and the wiring, it may exceed what the value of the car is worth. They may total the car just because it's missing an exhaust part.